Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on artificial intelligence and machine learning. I am Dr. Dafda and in this 24th video class of AIML, we will understand the infrastructure for search algorithms in artificial intelligence. From our previous video class, we know that searching for solutions is a fundamental AI process for problem solving and also efficient algorithms expand only necessary nodes and avoid unnecessary work. See infrastructure for search algorithm means the framework for search algorithms like the data structures that keeps the track of the search tree that is being constructed, right? So what is the infrastructure for search algorithm? It refers to the underlying data structures and mechanisms that enable search algorithms to efficiently explore and store information during problem solving. And why is it important? See, a well-structured infrastructure ensures that search processes are efficient, reducing time and memory usage while systematically tracking explored and unexplored states. In this video class, we will discuss key components like nodes, queues and explore sets which form the foundation for the search based problem solving in artificial intelligence. Okay, so let us start. See in search algorithms, we need to track the different states we explore. To do this, we use nodes in a search tree. Each node n of a tree contains state of n which represents the corresponding state in the state space parent of n which points the node that generated this node action of n which shows action taken from the parent node to generate this node and path cost of n from the initial state to this node helping in cost based evaluations for example in this figure the parent pointer string the nodes together into a tree structure so here basically this node is a bookkeeping data structure used to represent the search tree. Each node has a parent, a state and various bookkeeping fields as shown here. Here these arrows point from the child to the parent. So these two child are pointing to this parent and similarly this child points to this parent. The parent pointers in each node help form a tree like structure keeping track of how states are reached. Once a goal state is found, we reconstruct the solution path by backtracking through parent pointers using the solution function. See it is crucial to distinguish between nodes and states. Nodes are part of search tree and are tied to specific paths. So we can see here these nodes are tied to this specific path while the states are general configurations of the problem and can appear multiple times through different paths. So remember the nodes are different from the states. Multiple nodes can represent the same state but with different paths. And we can see here these multiple nodes represent this particular state of this eight puzzle problem. Going ahead, let us understand the data structures for storing nodes. To implement search, we need to store and manage nodes efficiently. And we know that the frontier is the set of nodes waiting to be expanded. We use different types of queues to determine how nodes are expanded. The FIFO queue or the first in first out queue expand the oldest nodes first or expand nodes in the order they were added and it is used in BFS that is breadth first search. The LIFO queue or the last in first out queue expands the newest nodes first or we can say expand the most recently added nodes first right and it is used in DFS that is depth first search. The priority queue expand nodes based on priority function or based on a heuristic or cost function and it is used in A star search algorithm. And these queues are implemented using standard operations like empty queue which checks if the queue is empty, pop queue which removes and returns the first element and insert element comma queue that adds an element to the queue. Okay. Let us now discuss the explode set used to avoid the redundant paths. See the explode set prevents expanding the same state multiple times, reducing redundant computation. A hash table is used for efficient lookup and insertion, ensuring fast operations and a canonical form ensures that logically equivalent states map to the same data structure. 
For example, in some problems like the traveling salesman problem, different representations of the same state must be recognized as identical. For example, this set of cities is same as this set of cities in the traveling salesman problem. But without a canonical form, the same set of cities could be stored differently as this set and this set. So even though they represent the same visited cities, they might be mistakenly considered different states leading to redundant processing. So in this way, using the explode set, we can avoid redundant paths and hence redundant computation also. I hope it is clear. So that is all for this video class. Thank you very much.